Today, we're jumping into SnowRunner. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so before we get started, we're gonna come over here to the gear icon. We're gonna come down to properties. And uh, as you guys can see, we have not selected any compatibility uh, layer. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just leave it. Um, the game will select it. Um, it is um, playable. And you can see down below, it says uh, Proton 7.0-6 selected by uh, Valve during testing. We're gonna go ahead and leave it. And um, also we are running stock settings. That is a swap file of one gigabyte. That is a swappiness um, of 100. We are running at a four gigabyte uh, UMA buffer um, for this game. And um, that's it. Let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, so here we are at the main menu. Uh, we're gonna come down here to settings. And we are gonna come over to video. As you guys can see, we're running borderless. We're running 1280 by 800 native. Uh, we have VSync turned off. We have the FPS limit, that is turned off. Uh, we have limit FPS when in background, that is on. Anti-aliasing, we have it MSAA times two. FXAA is on, motion blur is on. Sharpening, fidelity FX. Film grain is on. Um, these last ones don't really matter right here uh, until we get down below here. So we have terrain draw distance, that is set to high. Grass density, that is set to medium. Object quantity or quality, that is set to high. Effects quality, set to ultra. Shadow quality, set to medium. Texture quality, set to ultra. Texture filtering, times 16. Ambient occlusion is high. Water quality is set to high. Volumetric fog, that is kicked to off. Light shafts are on and mirrors are off. Okay, that's the only settings we have to worry about here. Um, also keep in mind, we are running at a um, UMA buffer, uh, four gigabytes, and we are running on stock settings. Okay, that is 100 swappiness, a one gigabyte swap file. Okay, all right. So we are gonna come out here and we are going to load into the game. I'm just gonna hit continue here. Okay, so here we are in game. Uh, first thing we're gonna wanna do is we are going to want to come over and uh, pick a vehicle. Um, I do like this Jeep. We'll go ahead and launch with this one. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, leave the garage here. Okay, as you guys can see, um, this looks phenomenal. Now you guys will see once we start getting into the water and um, the terrain, uh, but doing you guys can see it right now. Just look at the textures in the concrete. Look at the lighting. Um, this The details is absolutely amazing. You have to see this um, in person um, to really appreciate it. And uh, in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, but you know, I have this game across um, all platforms. And to me, the detail with being able to set this, to set your settings, um, this looks better in my opinion than the Xbox Series X or the PS5. Um, yes, you do get to play at 4K and that's wonderful, um, but the details um, are not as um, prevalent in those versions. Um, you guys, if you guys have this um, across platform, um, once you put these settings in, come into the game and you will see that, okay? Uh, one thing I do wanna point out, every time I start a game, I will always come in here and I will say, hey, yep, I do want 30, and that will reset it. You'll usually see a hiccup in the upper right as it um, sorts itself out. Um, I also do wanna point out that you do have the ability to potentially pay, play this in 40 FPS. Um, however, you will experience some hiccups. Now, as you can see there, we have a pretty decent 40 FPS, but once you start getting into some of the other towns, you may experience drops, dips, or uh, stutters. And so what we like to do is we like to opt for 30. Now I will show you 
I'm gonna turn the volume up a little bit so we can hear. I will show you guys um, that yes, it does run in 40 FPS. <laughs> One of the funniest things when I first started playing this game is the handling and uh, that hasn't changed at all. Um, but that's fine. It's just part of SnowRunner. Now you can see it up there. It'll dip to 39, 40, 38. And the weird thing about this game is that when it does dip to 39 um, and so forth, um, that the stutters are kind of weird. In other games, if it dips down to 37 or 38, um, sometimes you don't you don't experience necessarily stuttering. But with this one, you do. We're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to kick the game back down to the 30 FPS. And that's how we're going to play for the remainder of the video. Okay. You guys can do whatever you want. You guys can lower settings and hit the 40 mark if you want. But this is my ideal setting. This is how I play the game. And um, there's a good reason for it. Okay. So you guys will see. I mean, let me see here. Look at the water. Look at the details in this. We're hitting a, a sunset time. Um, I will go ahead and change the uh, time of day here in a minute. Um, see if I can get myself out of this little uh, situation I found myself in. Now I might not be able to. I do have a winch. Let's see if I could uh, attach it here. That's not going to do me any good. We'll attach there. Gosh, this looks so good. Okay, let's try to connect the winch somewhere else here. That's not going to do me any good. That's what I got. That's all I get. What about back there? Well, that's fine. What I will do is I'll recover and go back to the garage. Uh, I wish you guys I do, except, and then we'll leave garage again. Okay, we're just going to start this little party over. And one thing I uh, do want to do is I want to put that in four-wheel drive. And another thing I want to do, I think, is I want to change the time of day. And I want to change it to afternoon. There we go. That looks a lot better. I'm pretty happy with that. I just really want you guys to be able to see the details. Um, what we'll do is we'll go a different direction here. There's a little mud hole there. Let's see if we can. Yeah. Look at this. I mean, it just looks so good. My brother and I, um, a while ago, we live in different states, and and so the, sometimes the only thing we get to do uh, together is is play online. And um, I actually found out about this game uh, much earlier than he did. And when I told him about it, he said, oh, that sounds really fun. And we ended up getting so sucked into it. Uh, we would just drive around and follow each other and, you know, uh, take turns trying to pull vehicles out of the mud and, and to recover things. And it was just a really, really uh, good time uh, for us and uh, really, really good memories. Okay, some mud hole over here. Just look at how beautiful this looks. This is so good. Like, just look at this. I wonder if I'm going to get in trouble again here, if I'm going to be able to... Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. There's something so gratifying about that. 
But I mean, just look at the details. I'll keep saying this over and over again. Um, it just looks so good. Oh, come on, baby. I recommend, um, for those of you that have, are seeing this video and seeing gameplay of this for the first time, um, if you have not played yet, uh, recommendation. Make sure that um, you are going around and finding all the new parts. Um, you definitely want to be able to get a winch that you can use um, when your car dies and um, you want to be able to flip yourself over um, that is one of the, the biggest recommendation that I can give you guys also you want a snorkel you want a snorkel I guess I really didn't need that. Just do automatic. But as you guys can see, this is a solid 30. And um, it's very, very smooth. Uh, this game is pretty slow paced as it is. Um, but you don't experience any jittering. Um, it just, it's very responsive. Uh, it's so much fun to play. And I think you guys are gonna have an absolute blast with this. Uh, one thing we can do is we can, uh, let's go do a different vehicle so you guys can get an idea. I'm gonna go ahead and recover this to the garage. I sure do. And we're going to retain the vehicle. We'll go to truck storage and uh, we'll use this bad boy right here. Okay, we'll go ahead and leave the garage now. Now, uh, this is a whole different beast right here. Just look at those tires. This is so awesome. Oh yeah, baby. Now I can't remember. Uh, there are some headlights here. That's not it. I can't remember the... Uh... Yeah, you can also look inside the vehicle. Um, like I said, the details in this game are phenomenal. The more you play the game, the more you're going to appreciate them. Really, really, really cool. Okay, let's take this puppy out for a little drive. Might as well throw it in uh, on differential lock. We don't need that. Okay, here we go. We'll take this back um, over here to where we were. Actually, you know what? Let's go the opposite direction here. Let's go over here where I saw some of that deeper water. Oh, whoa, 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 easy, Gertrude. We could take this to the swamp, see if we can get stuck. Let's try that. I love the water, I love the details, the crunch of the foliage, the branches. You guys will hear that uh, when you're driving around. Just look at that. My brother and I would just do this for hours exploring and just chit-chatting. The physics in this game are so good. 
Like, look at this. Gosh, I love this game. It's funny, I spend so much time testing that I often don't get to um, sit down for, you know, a very long period of time and just really get in and get lost. And um, thankfully, uh, with the help of um, a couple friends uh, helping to lift some of the load and lighten it a little bit um, here at Pixel Deck, I'm able to come in here and, and enjoy more of these experiences. And I'm just, uh, I think I'm the better for it. And I'm just so thankful. Yeah, this is just amazing. Look at that, just ripping through woods. Just look at the terrain. And the rocks, you know, the individual rocks that you can roll over and, man, it really doesn't get much better than this. Uh, when you think about off-roading and driving games and when you get into some of these mud holes. One thing also I really like about this game and that is the intermittent music. Um, it doesn't play all the time. It feels more um, atmospherical um, because of it. And it, I really think it lends a lot uh, to this game um, because it feels more special when it comes on and you get to enjoy it. Uh, it doesn't feel overdone. It doesn't feel like, you know, I wish it would stop already. And uh, it's just a really peaceful experience. Give it a doo -dah. Okay, I think we've uh, I think we've played enough of this uh, here. Um, oh wait, is that a river? Ooh. Yeah, we can go mudding just for a second. Just look, my gosh, this is so good. You know, sometimes after a long day at work, um, I used to come and play this, and, and it was just so nice not to focus on, like, the big things in life, and uh, you just get lost, and you don't have to think about much. Uh, it's a good time. If you guys don't own this game, I highly suggest getting it. It's worth full price, um, but if you can get it on a sale, uh, then obviously get it on a sale. Um, anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up. Hey, I thank you guys so much for your continued support. Um, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Uh, go ahead and if you like this video, hit the like uh, button. Hit that bell notification so you are notified when we release new content. Um, down in the description below, uh, you'll see our Facebook page uh, link. Uh, you can navigate over there and find a full curated alphabetical list of the games we have already um, done settings for. And then below that, you'll see a link to our Patreon page. And uh, hey, if you guys want to help support what we do for the community, um, it helps to um, uh, secure games. Or if you guys just want to buy us a cup of coffee or however you want to support us, um, it's all much appreciated. You can click on that Patreon link and go over and become part of the inner circle of Pixel Deck. And uh, guys, with that being said, we will see you on the next video.